Hello friends, my name is Homer Knox with MenTeachingMen.com and I'm going to be teaching in this video on John the Baptist. John the Baptist, a man after my own heart, what's not to like about this guy? Luke chapter 1 verse 5. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijar, and he had a wife from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Luke chapter 1 verse 6 and they were both righteous in the sight of God walking blamelessly in all the commandments and requirements of the Lord Luke the first chapter the 13th verse but the angel said to him do not be afraid Zacharias for your petition has been heard and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you will give him the name John would have been nice to have righteous spiritual families. Unfortunately, it didn't work in my family. My wife, Bonnie, had a Christian family, and there's an inner spiritual quality of peace in her, which I am somewhat lacking. For those of us who didn't have a godly family, start one now. You could be the first in your lineage to be sold out to Jesus Christ. Sold out to Jesus Christ. Well, sold out to Jesus Christ, that's easy to say. How do you do that? And after you have asked Christ into your heart, you attend church. My family attends church every week. If we're not in our home church, we're visiting another church. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, the 25th verse. Not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some. And so we attend church. You need to pray, worship. You need to give and to serve. We read your Bible, number two. Try to read your Bible each day. Try to set a goal of reading it through once a year. It's a terrific goal. Daily praise and worship. You need to praise God and worship daily, daily. Do your best in number four to try to obey and honor what the Bible says. And finally, serve and give. Giving and service gets you places with God. It's important to do that. We now want to talk about John's birth. His birth was foretold by the angel Gabriel, sent from God, and is related in length in Luke, the first chapter. And I would encourage you to read that chapter about how, how God deals with Zacharias. Many great men have had their birth foretold. Jesus is one, right? Jesus' birth was foretold. Uh, John probably had the Nazarite vow. Luke, the first chapter, the 15th verse. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and he will drink no wine or liquor, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit while yet in his mother's womb. At some point, he left his family and dwelled by himself in the wild and thinly populated region westward of the Dead Sea, preparing himself for his calling. His dress was that of the Old Testament, a garment, a woven garment of camel's hair and a leather belt. My, like Elijah the prophet. Mark, the first chapter, the sixth verse. And John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist. And his diet was locusts and wild honey. The start of his ministry is calling. Israel was dead spiritually. John's calling was to soften the people's heart with his preaching, preparing the people for Jesus. Luke, the first chapter, the 17th verse. And it is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous so as to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. John's message was, Repent. Luke, the third chapter, verses 2 to 3. The word of the Lord came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into all the district around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. John the Baptist did not recognize Jesus, his cousin. The Holy Spirit had to confirm his identity as Jesus. John, the first chapter, verse 33. And I did not recognize him, but he who sent me to baptize in water said to me, He upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him, this is the one who baptizes in the Holy Spirit. 
Well, why is that? Well, they were related. John and Jesus were related. John the Baptist must have heard from his parents about Jesus. He grew up maybe not living near Jesus, but around Jesus. They certainly got together. And uh, John the Baptist might say, you mean the kid that threw me in the lake? The kid that threw mud pies at me? Closeness with family sometimes shades our view. Luke chapter 4 verse 24. And he, Jesus, said, Truly I say to you, no prophet is welcome in his hometown. And that's why we need the Holy Spirit's discernment each day, each day to help us. Psalm 119.66 Teach me good discernment and knowledge, for I believe in thy commandments. John, the third chapter, the 16th verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Mark, the first chapter, the 15th verse. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. John's message was repent. Jesus' message was believe, which also requires repentance of sins. We're moving from action with John the Baptist to belief of the heart with Jesus. John was a fearless preacher. Luke, the third chapter, the seventh verse. He therefore began saying to the multitudes who were going out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Luke, the third chapter, verse four. And some soldiers were questioning him, saying, And what about us? What shall we do? And he said to them, Do not take money from anyone by force, or accuse anyone falsely, and be content with your wages. Matthew, the 14th chapter, verse 4. For John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Well, what was John's reception by the people of Israel? Matthew, the third chapter, the fifth verse. Then Jerusalem was going out to him, and all Judea, and all the district around the Jordan. The people of Israel were in anticipation of a movement from God, and John the Baptist exploded, exploded on the scene. What were the results of John the Baptist's preaching? Well, many of every class pressed forward to confess their sins and to be baptized. Jesus himself came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. How wonderful, how wonderful. John and his disciples continued to baptize even after Jesus entered upon his ministry. As Jesus did, John had a group of followers, Andrew, Peter, John, James, and Judas Iscariot. Let's not underestimate the work of John the Baptist with his disciples. Many of these disciples moved on to Jesus' ministry. What are the characteristics of John the Baptist? Humility, John 1.20. And he confessed and did not deny, and he confessed, I am not the Christ. Holiness, Mark 6, chapter 20th verse. For Herod was afraid of John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and kept him safe. And when he heard him, he was very perplexed, but he used to enjoy listening to him. Zeal, John, the fifth chapter, the 35th verse. He was the light that was burning and was shining, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. And we know that John the Baptist testifies of Jesus, and he also baptized Jesus. Matthew, the third chapter, the 13th verse. Then Jesus arrived from Galilee at the Jordan, coming to John, to be baptized by him. John, the first chapter, the 33rd verse. And I, John, did not recognize him. But he who sent me to baptize in water said to me, He upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him, this is the one who baptized in the Holy Spirit. John, the first chapter, the 29th verse. The next day he saw Jesus coming to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John, the fifth chapter, the 33rd verse. You have sent to John, and he has bore witness to the truth. And our job here on earth is to testify, testify of Jesus and his love for us. John the Baptist performed no miracles in the scriptures. John, the 10th chapter, the 41st verse. 
And many came to him and were saying, While John performed no sign, yet everything John said about this man was true. He instructed and was training his disciples. Matthew, the ninth chapter, the 14th verse. Then the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. John the Baptist pointed out Jesus to his disciples. John, the first chapter, the 36th verse. And he, John, looked upon Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Well, what was John the Baptist's view of Jesus' ministry? John, the third chapter, verse 28. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. John the Baptist's ministry closes after about six months. John and his disciples baptized an estimation of thousands in the Jordan River. John the Baptist accuses Herod of breaking the law by, by taking his brother's wife. Matthew, the 14th chapter, the third verse. For when Herod had John arrested, he bound him, and he put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. John was thrown into prison, and because of being in prison, John is isolated, and it causes John to have doubts. Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 2 to 3. Now when John in prison heard of the works of Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the expected one, or shall we look for someone else? Jesus encourages John in prison. Matthew, the 11th chapter, the 5th verse. The blind receive sight, and the lame walk. And the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And that is why we encourage you to attend church. Don't be isolated. Join with a group of born-again believers in a Bible-preaching church. John was beheaded in prison. Mark, the sixth chapter, the 27th verse. And he, Herod, went and had him beheaded in the prison. John, the third chapter, the 30th verse. He must increase, but I must decrease. What are, what are Jesus' comments about John the Baptist? John, the fifth chapter, the 35th verse. He was the light that was burning and was shining, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in the light. Matthew, the 11th chapter, the 11th verse. Truly I say to you, among those born of women, there has not arisen anyone greater than John the Baptist. In summary, I'm so thankful for the forerunner ministry of John the Baptist. Just a great man of God, fearless, dedicated, helped in setting up the success of Jesus' ministry. Thank you, Jesus, for John the Baptist. What a great example for us all. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? And are you saved? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day after burial and he's ascended into heaven according to the scriptures. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you'd like to receive Jesus as your personal savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, I accept you as my personal savior. Come into my heart. Please forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for making me a new creature. And thank you for the Holy Spirit now living inside of me. Amen and amen. If you prayed this prayer for the first time from your heart, you're now born again, you're a Christian. Welcome, welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now back in the fold, you're part of the kingdom. Welcome, congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved, Now What? And that video will help you on your new walk with Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless